But we've got some I.O. that doesn't need any connectors because this is the most wirelessly equipped notebook in the world. First of all, Bluetooth is built in. <laughs> so <clears throat> you can talk to all your Bluetooth peripherals, whether it's the cell phone in your backpack that you don't want to dig out or some other Bluetooth peripheral, all built in. Second of all, airport is built in. And let me say a few words about airport. Apple pioneered 802.11 wireless networking computers. We were the first company to ever ship 802.11, which kicked off the whole Wi-Fi revolution. And we shipped over 2 million 802 airport devices, over 2 million. Now, they all run at 11 megabits per second, which is great. That's the industry standard. That's what every hotspot is based on. But today, we're taking it up a level, and we're introducing Airport Extreme. <laughs> airport Extreme runs at 54 megabits per second. <laughs> and it's based on a new standard called 802.11G. Now, let me explain this. What's the G about? Well, when we first shipped 802.11, the first in the industry, it was actually 802.11b. And 802.11b is the 11 megabit per second standard that became an industry standard. It's, it's what's in every hotspot around the world, 802.11b, today's standard. Some people felt, though, that that wasn't fast enough, and they wanted to go faster. And so about six months ago, some companies started shipping 802.11a. Don't ask me why a comes after b. It just did. 802.11a runs at 54 megabits per second, but guess what? It's not compatible with anything out there that's B. It's not compatible with any hotspot in the world. It's not compatible with any other 802.11 device. And we think for that very reason, A is doomed to failure. And so we didn't adopt it. We waited for G, because G offers the same 54 megabits per second, and yet is fully compatible with B with every hotspot on the planet. And it will become the industry standard. And so, if you have 802.11G in your notebook, it still works with a B base station. It just throttles down to 11 megabits per second. You don't have to run out and buy a new base station. And if you run out and buy a new base station with G in it, and you're using a notebook with a B card in it, the base station throttles down to 11. And it works just fine, too. It all works together. And when you have a G in both, it runs all the way up to 54 megabits per second. So that's Airport Extreme. We have a new card that is built in to the 17-inch PowerBook. And we've put the antennas where they belong. <laughs> we have two antennas in the screen. And in the notebook world, the gold standard for 802.11 reception is the iBook. It's what every competitor measures against. Guess what? In our testing, the new 17-inch PowerBook has a range that is equal to the iBook. So that's what's in the computer, built into the 17-inch PowerBook. Now let's talk about the base station. A new Airport Extreme base station up to 50 users. Now, this is really 50 users, way more than competitive base stations. 50 real users, and it's great for education or for small business or for anyone who needs more than 10 or 15 users, like most base stations handle. We are also introducing wireless bridging into the airport base station. And so if you want to extend your range, simply have, get another airport base station. You can seamlessly walk around between them, and you will automatically be bridged. Another feature that people have been asking us about a lot, no one's ever done this before, USB printing. There is a USB port on the base station. You can plug in a USB printer and share it among all of your wirelessly connected notebooks. The Airport Extreme base station is going to sell for $199. So that's Airport Extreme, and along with Bluetooth, that makes the 17-inch PowerBook the most wirelessly capable notebook in the industry. 
We also have the best battery technology. It uses lithium prismatic batteries, a state-of-the-art battery technology. There's one battery on the bottom. This pops out, pops in. And with this giant 17-inch screen, we still get, through great power management, four and a half hours of battery life. We're very happy about this. So, 17-inch power book, 17-inch widescreen display, one inch thin, 6.8 pounds, backlit keyboard, ambient light sensor, four and a half hour battery life. And then what's inside, gigahertz G4 with a one megabyte L3 cache, half a gigabyte of DDR memory running at 333 megahertz, GeForce 440 Go, with 64 megabytes of graphics memory, a 60 gigabyte hard drive, and a super drive. This is the most communications ever in a PowerBook. Airport Extreme built in, Bluetooth built in, both FireWire 800 and FireWire 400 built in, gigabit ethernet, every possible way to get video out, and of course, dual display support. The new 17-inch PowerBook boots into Mac OS X. And we are gonna bundle the new QuickBooks for Mac OS X with every 17-inch PowerBook. This is a $299 value. So what are we going to sell this for? Sell this for $32.99. And we will be shipping these next month in February. So, the 17-inch PowerBook. We just took another giant leap. There is one more thing. It's one more small thing. When we were inventing all of the technology to build this, tremendous technology to be able to do this, it's way far ahead of what anyone in the industry is capable of doing. We decided to apply that technology to something a little smaller, which is this. Yeah. Want to see that again? <laughs> a new 12-inch power book that is only 1.2 inches thick, weighs 4.6 pounds. It is the smallest power book ever, even smaller than the duos, if you remember those. It is the smallest full-featured notebook in the world. New 12-inch power book. And I happen to have one right here. There it is. It's got a full-size keyboard, and you can see the enclosure just hugs that keyboard. Beautiful 12-inch display. This is smaller than the iBook in every dimension. All the I.O. you could ever want. Slot load drive, slot load optical built in. It's just a beauty. And it's really, really tiny. So, 12 inch power book, it's got a 10 by 7 display. It's got an 867 megahertz G4 built in. This runs the iApps beautifully, it runs 10 beautifully. It's very nice. GeForce 4, 420 Go graphics chip for really good graphics with 32 megabytes of graphics memory built in. It's got a slot load combo drive built in so you can play DVDs and burn CDs. Slot loads right in the side. It's got a lot of wireless built in too. It's got Bluetooth built in. And it is Airport Extreme ready. It's got the antennas in the right places. It's ready for Airport Extreme. The module costs $99 to just pop in if you want to use it. Battery life, 